What's up everybody, this is Scott. Welcome back to another video. Well, today is Pixel 4 release day and I am pushing out the content like crazy. In this particular video though, I wanna talk about a comparison of the photos and the videos between the Google Pixel 4 XL and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I'm gonna lay tons of photos and tons of videos in this particular video so that you can see. Now, I have my preference of what I prefer to choose in terms of photos and videos, and I'll tell you at the end of the video which one that I prefer, but watch all the way to the end, stop right before I get ready to tell you, and then comment below to tell me which one, which photos that you prefer, which videos that you prefer between the Pixel 4 XL and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I carried each phone with me for about a month. I'm gonna do voiceovers on all the photos and then cut away to some of the videos where you can see the comparison between the iPhone and the Pixel, the stabilization, the sound, the audio, all that jazz. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again. I still believe that the Pixel has the best portrait mode not necessarily just because of the cool shots that I have on my face, but you can see some of these shots that I've taken at Ohio Stadium. It's a, actually going out and grabbing some of the, the light pole that you see behind it with the Ohio Stadium behind it. You can see that it's actually grabbing and somewhat doing a portrait mode on a light pole that's fairly far away, but when you compare that to the iPhone, the iPhone doesn't really do that well. I, while I find the portrait mode on the iPhone 11 Pro Max sufficient, and when it does work in portrait mode, it comes up with some really great shots, I find that the portrait mode on the Pixel 4 XL, I use it in way more places, not necessarily just for my own photos, but also grabbing those cool shots where I wanna blur out and may have a really creamy background, but I wanna have a cool shot like the one I mentioned at Ohio Stadium. Moving around the stadium, just capturing pictures in perfect daylight and things of that nature, both phones really shine well. There was really one didn't stand out more than the other. It really comes down to a preference if whether you want a warmer look that you get out of the iPhone or a cooler, more contrasty look that you get out of the Pixel 4 XL. Now, personally, I mentioned this before, I really like a cooler, more contrasty look out of the Pixel devices rather than a more warm and vibrant color selection from the iPhone series. And that's just, again, more of a preference than anything else. It doesn't mean one's better than the other. And you can go into like Lightroom or Snapseed and change those around. Just right out of the camera, I prefer the look of the Google Pixel 4 XL or the Google series for that matter as a whole. One thing the iPhone 11 Pro Max has going for it, and you can see it right here as a big wide angle shot of Ohio Stadium. The Pixel device doesn't have the ability to do that because it has the two lenses on the back. The second lens is a telephoto lens, so when you zoom in more, that is definitely more beneficial and looks better on the Pixel line than that of the iPhone. Now that doesn't mean that the iPhone can't do well with its telephoto lens. Again, I just prefer the look of the Google telephoto lens more than I do of the iPhone, but the iPhone hands down wins because it has a third lens that can do the ultra wide, whereas the Google Pixel 4 doesn't have the ability to do that. So I'm somewhat limited if I wanna get like a super wide shot, the iPhone really excels there because obviously it has a lens that has the ability to do that. When comparing some of the shots of downtown Columbus, Ohio on a somewhat cloudy day, I'm using the telephoto lens to get Levesque Tower and you see that on the Pixel 4 XL, it comes through just a little more crispy in my personal opinion than the telephoto lens on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Again, both of them are fantastic and are at the top of the list when it comes to all of smartphones but I just really like the look of the Pixel 4 more than anything here. Some of the shots of the river, again, come back to more of a personal preference, the warm, more vibrant color selection of an iPhone versus the cooler contrasty photo of the Pixel 4 XL. You're probably picking up at this particular point when it comes to shooting in the daylight or even more of a cloudy day in Ohio, both of them are really, really exceptional. It just comes down to personal preference. I wouldn't say one is better than the other. It's pretty much personal preference. Now where the distinction becomes a little bit different as it relates to the different night modes that they have, night sight versus night mode. And I've made a whole other video that specifically talks about the Pixel 4 XL and the iPhone 11 Pro Max night modes compared to one another. But here's a little teaser of a bit between the two of them. I find that the Google Pixel 4 just happens to be a little bit better, and really a lot of bit better in some instances, as it relates to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The Pro Max is limited to 30 second exposures, which I think they can update in a software update, 
whereas the long night sight from the Pixel series, you can get somewhere in the vicinity of four minutes long exposure to get you some crazy shots that look like this. So again, in the comparison perspective, I feel like the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 4 XL win over the 11 Pro Max. There are some instances where the Pro Max comes up with a better photo at night, but more often than not, I found myself really liking the photos coming out of the Pixel series rather than that of the Pro Max. So now that I've done that, one thing I'm gonna give kudos to Google is really kind of getting better at the particular video portion of their smartphone devices. So here's some comparisons between all of those. This is 4K60 on the iPhone. And this is 1080p at 60 frames a second on the Pixel 4 XL. Obviously I'm using some type of handheld tripod. I'm actually using a switch pod uh, with this crazy contraption, which I'll show you here in a second. <clears throat> So I'm just straight up walking right now to see what the stabilization is like filming on the rear camera. Again, 4K 60 frames a second with the iPhone. And this is 1080p at 60 frames a second, second on the Google Pixel 4. So now this is the front facing camera on both phones. Uh, over here on this side over there is the iPhone. And over there is the one from the Pixel 4. So again, 1080p on the Pixel and 4K, both in 60 frames a second for the iPhone. So this is what the stabilization looks like. Everything's handheld, again, using just a switch pod, uh, just kind of holding it out away in front of me. So this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna try to mock a little bit of a jog here. I am not a runner, so I don't run. This is what it would look like, again, everything in 60 frames a second, all handheld, just to see what it looks like. Again, kind of mock running, just to show you what it looks like. These are both handheld, switch pod in hand, basically handheld, and this is what you would see. The long story short out of all of this is, uh, there's a little bit wider of an angle right now. I haven't changed any of the angles or anything like that in terms of basically the cameras. So you see on the iPhone, it looks a little bit wider, whereas it's a little closer on the Pixel 4 XL. I actually really like the colors on both. It looks like, again, when I'm looking at the phone, that the iPhone has a little bit better colors. I look a little washed out on this side of my face as I am walking towards the sun. But it looks like iPhone really has that, so... I said it before in all my tweets that I really believe that the iPhone really is exceptional when it comes to video. Now that you've watched all of those, let me give you my personal opinion on the video. Hands down, bar none, and you guys know that I do love the Pixel series, I think the iPhone 11 Pro Max in terms of video just blows it away in terms of the Pixel 4. Absolutely knocks it out of the park. I love the video on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Not to say that the Google One is bad, it just, in my personal opinion, doesn't really hold a candle to that of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. They're just that much better. You have Filmic Pro that just, for whatever reason, doesn't seem to want to work as well with the Pixel device or the Pixel series. And what you're able to get out of just the standard camera app in terms of video for the iPhone just looks exceptional. I absolutely love it. Google is definitely getting better about it in terms of video because they've definitely learned that the audio portion ran hot in the Pixel series, I could see using the Pixel 4 as kind of a main shooter for YouTube videos like this, but I really just love the look that I get out of the iPhone 11 Pro Max when it comes to video. So all of that being said, which do I prefer in terms of photography and videography? As a complete package, I prefer the Pixel 4 XL because I take more photos than I do video, and I take a ton of photos of my kids, especially using that portrait mode. I find myself really liking the images that come out of the Pixel 4 XL more often than not than coming out of the iPhone. If I had to choose one, I would choose the Pixel. If I had the ability to choose either, you can't go wrong with either. I just really like the way that the Pixel 4 XL puts out photos. If you are more of a video person, hands down, you would go with the iPhone because it's really that much better. All right, that's it. That's a quick video. Again, all the links for everything and all of the whole pile of videos that I put out are in the description below. As always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment below, and we will see you next time. <music>